Good morning, everybody. It is May the 3rd, and today we celebrate a service of morning prayer from our homes to yours. I hope this service finds you well, and I hope that you will draw some comfort and peace from the words that we'll use. Today, not only am I joined by the various birds that are in the trees around me, but I'm also joined by Reverend Alison, by Joanna, and by Anna and William, who will read for us later on. God bless you, and I hope that you enjoy this service. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, he has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to welcome you into my home as we share together in worship this morning with morning prayer, which commences on page 101. Beloved in Christ, we come together to offer to Almighty God our worship and praise and thanksgiving, to confess our sins and to receive God's forgiveness, to hear his holy word proclaimed and to bring before him our needs and the needs of the world, and to pay, pray that in the power of his spirit we may serve him and know the greatness of his love. Let us confess our sins to God our Father. Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, by what we have done and by what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that has passed and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth will proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's be named be praised. We shall say together, the Canticle Venite, which is on page 103. O come, let us sing out to the Lord. Let us shout in triumph to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his face with thanksgiving and cry out to him joyfully in psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the peaks of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, and he made it, his hands moulded dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Today, if only you would hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the wilderness. When your forebears tested me, put me to the proof, though they had seen my works. Forty years long, I loathed that generation and said, It is a people who err in their hearts, for they do not know my ways, of whom I swore in my wrath they shall not enter my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The first reading is from Acts 2, verse 42 to 47. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. 
all came upon everyone, because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and all things in co- and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. I will now sing a version of Psalm 23, written by the American composer Marty Helgen. And as normal in life and music, I am supported by Joanna. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. God is my shepherd, so nothing shall I want. I rest in the meadows of faithfulness and love. I walk by the quiet waters of peace. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into Righteousness and truth, my spirit shall sing the music of your name. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into Of my comfort and my hope. Shepherd me, O oh God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into life. You have set me a banquet. shall dwell in the house of my God forevermore. Shepherd me, O God, beyond my wants, beyond my fears, from death into Peter chapter 2 verses 19 to 25 for it is it is a credit to you if being aware of God 
you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If you endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, what credit is that? But if you endure when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin and no, no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that for, free from sins we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed, for you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and the guardian of our souls. Our second canticle today is the Te Deum. Part 1. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels and all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our third reading this morning is from the Gospel according to John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Jesus said to the Pharisees, Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in by another way, is a thief and a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will not follow the stranger, but they will run from him because they do not know the voice of the stranger. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep will not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I come that they may have life and have it abundantly. Amen. Our third canticle this morning is the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. The Lord has raised us up a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through the holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of those who hate us, to show mercy to our forebears and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous before him all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, 
and shall be forever. Amen. We shall now profess our faith as we say together the Apostles' Creed on page 112. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, and was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide and defend our rulers, and grant our government wisdom. Let your ministers be clothed with righteousness, and let your servants shout for joy. O Lord, save your people, and bless those whom you have chosen. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and let your glory be over all the earth. O God, make clean our hearts within us and renew us by your Holy Spirit. The Collect for the Fourth Sunday of Easter Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We turn now to the Collects at Morning Prayer on page 114, and you can say these along with me. We will say the first and the third. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your protection, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go before us, Lord, in all our doings, with your most gracious favour, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, and finally, be, by your mercy, attain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As I bring this service of morning prayer to a conclusion, I'd like to thank everybody who took part. I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day to actually be with us. But most of all, I'd like to thank God for giving us this opportunity to be a family, to be a worship community together in this day, on this day, and for this day. Jesus is our shepherd. We know his voice. Even when the world is telling us all kinds of things, we know the voice of God. 
we know the voice of Jesus in our lives. I pray that in the week to come, that we might take a moment just to listen to his voice, to give him a little bit of space in our lives. May the God of hope fill you in all joy and peace in believing, so that by the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day. Amen. Until the next time, God bless you and keep you.